So continuing from the last video, we have this all set up and the way we have this set up is, um, you know, more of a linear way. We want to go ahead and start kind of understanding a little bit about prefabs. We're not going to go into detail. I'm going to just show you how this is done. Just understand that a prefab allows me to use the same thing over and over again. If you remember from the last video, when we actually um, put this platform here, so I'm going to go to the scene view. When we put this platform here, uh, we moved it around and placed it in position based off of these uh, sprites here. But suppose I wanted another platform over here. That would be an issue because then I would have to move these around and place it again. Well, the answer to that is creating a prefab, something where I can use it over and over again without worrying about memory concerns or anything like that, and it always looks the same. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert this into a, um, a prefab. I'm going to go here inside my background and I'm going to right click and add a prefabs folder. I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to create a uh, empty, create an empty. So I have this empty object here and I'm going to rename this object platform. Now I'm going to drag all three of these objects into the platform object. And now as you can see when I select this platform object, they all move around. And then I'm going to take this platform here and I'm going to drag it into my prefabs folder. And now you can see I have a platform there. And so whenever I need a platform, I can take it from this prefab here and drag myself a platform. And as you can see it created another platform up here. Now, a prefab, when a prefab is edited, uh, it can affect the other prefabs. So for right now, if I were to take this and resize this, and I say, okay, I want all the prefabs to kind of be about this size. What I need to do is I need to go here inside of the inspector and hit apply. So now it's going to affect all the prefabs that is generated from this. So as you can see, it converted this one into the same size as this one when I hit apply. So if I had multiple scenes throughout my entire game that use this prefab and I were to edit this and then hit apply, it's going to affect all the platforms um, of that type. So I'm just going to position these in some way. And then we have ourselves some sort of simple looking level. If I go to the game view, you can see our level is ready to go. Now we want to look at really quick um, how to quickly and easily add an animation. Now what we did before was we were able to go and add our character and we were able to add certain things inside of our scene. Um, so here what I have is inside of my players folder I have my knight and my knight is separated by all of these different uh, sprites here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a fast way to create an animation if I go to let's say walk I'm going to select this walk and I'm going to shift select this walk all the way over here the easiest way to create an animation is just drag all of those into the scene except I'm not going to drag it here, I'm just going to drag it here and what Unity will do, it will assume that I'm trying to make an animation and so it's trying to save this as a new animation inside of the player night. So inside of the player night, I'm going to right click and create myself an animation folder. And then I am going to rename this to walk and I'm going to save that when I do that I get this one item here which is an animation I'm going to resize this and if I go inside of my player night I'll see this animation folder and in that animation folder you'll see this walk and this um, <coughs> this walk animation um, procedural concept graph here and then you'll see this walk animation here so when I hit play 
you'll see that he's the walk animation is going. And I can bring him down here. There we go. Now all we need to do is only animate him when we're moving him and give him some states where he, when you're not moving him, he's standing still. And when you move him, he's animating. Then we'll talk about jumping and all that other stuff. But for right now, we got pretty far. We're able to make our prefabs. We know how to make animations. Now what you need to do is go back into your project. And you want to take all of these and create animations for each one of those. Even if you're not using them, you're going to create them, put them in the folder. So you have your dead animation, your idle animation, jump, run, and walk animations. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time.